All right, I'm gonna show you how I do ladybug's bladder. So since she's paralyzed, I have to express her bladder about every four to five hours. She wears little diapers. Um, she also can't control her poop, so sometimes she just goes in her diaper. Or when I'm expressing, I, some of the poop sometimes will come out as well. So I will show you how I do this. I normally put her down. I already have the pee pad down. I have my wipes over here, so I'll get that ready to go. And then I kind of put her in a position where her front torso is kind of blocked by my legs, so she's not able to try and wander off while I'm trying to do this. So step one, take the diaper off. Okay, she doesn't have any poop in there. I put these little pads in the diaper to help uh, with absor absorbency, and so you don't have to constantly change the little reusable diaper. So I'll take the little pad off and set the diaper aside, put it in the corner. And then how I do this is I lift up her hind legs, I take my left arm, because I'm right-handed, and I kind of sling her with my arm under her belly. When I do this, you'll feel like a balloon directly under her hind legs. Um, you'll feel like a little circular, kind of almost like a water balloon. And I'll take the back of my hand, and I actually just press upward, and you'll see that she'll start to pee. She normally does a spurt like that, and then I normally give her a second to kind of relax. I'll move the pee pad over a little bit, let her bladder refill, and we'll normally do this about three to four times until I start seeing that her bladder is starting to just drip. So kind of just rub her head, tell her she's being a really good girl, doing so good, and then I'm gonna let her know, okay, you gotta go pee pees, go do pee pees. And I'll pick her back up sling my arm, put her little feet on the sides, and push again. And there was some more. So I will rotate the sheet, let her rest for a second, let her bladder refill. Good girl, doing so good. And I'll do it again, lift up her feet, Sling my arm under her tummy, feel for the balloon, and push slightly. You don't want to push too hard because the bladder can actually kind of rupture. So I kind of just massage it, the back of my hand. You can see that it's probably already starting to lighten because this time it's getting a little bit harder. And I feel the balloon actually getting smaller under her stomach. So I'm going to try a little bit. Oh. There we go, there's a little bit more. You can see it's definitely getting less. Like I said, sometimes when you're pushing, she might actually poop um, and that's totally okay. We just wipe her up. So I'm gonna let her kind of sit for one more time. I'm thinking we're getting close to the end here. Good girl. Doing so good. Doing so good, yes, yes. Okay, last time, lift her up, sling her, and okay. I don't feel anything left in there, so now I'm gonna clean her up. So we have these wipes, take the wipe. I always start with doing under by her, um, her vagina first, because I don't wanna ever wipe her butt and then touch her vagina just to keep poop and things like that. Um, from her getting a bladder infection. So I reach under and I just wipe her real good, all the areas. And then at the end, I just always wipe her little booty. And so that is the bladder expression. Now for the diaper, how we do this, set her down. You can see I have a pad here. On the back side of the pads, they have like a stickiness so I pull this little paper off and it turns into like a sticker and then I take the diaper and I set it right in the middle there so I'll take it put it right down and then these straps will go under her belly in between her legs and this will be the part that flaps up over her butt so what I do here is I just kind of pick her up Take the diaper, separate her little leggies, pull the diaper through, put 
her legs down and kind of just set her to sit in to the diaper. And then I just pull this back side up. And these diapers have little um, Velcros. There's two Velcro patches. I normally just go one Velcro patch in when I stick the diaper on. Make sure it's secure. And that's it. 